Singham, there are four key dates that the Wakil Chalun have to take into account for this general election. 23rd of April for poster ballot issue, 28th of April for overseas working for the poster voter, 30th of April for advanced voting, and finally 5th of May for general election normal polling. What do you have to say for the Wakil Chalun to do? Okay, the thing is this, a lot of, a lot of uh, candidates may not be even aware of these critical dates simply because uh, postal voting uh, and advanced voting have not entered into their, their domain of thinking. They cannot afford to do this because we've got now a large number of people who are going to be postal voters, a large number of people who are going to be advanced voters and if they are not prepared for this, then uh, they the role of the Pachaba will not be fulfilled and the, the process will not be secured. The 23rd of uh, April is when postal ballots are going to be issued. So at the time of the postal ballots being prepared, we must have a power. The, the, we call them Pacha Post. The Pacha Post, the one who does the postal ba ballot, they have to be at the office of the returning officer to ensure that when the postal ballot packages are prepared, the proper procedures are followed, the proper security is in place, and, uh, and then the postal ballots are distributed accordingly, whether it's overseas or into local uh, places. Then on the 28th of April is when overseas Malaysians will be voting at their respective uh, mission offices. Although these are called postal votes, the process is actually more like advanced voting because a specific day is appointed. They must come to the mission office, collect the package, fill up the votes, complete the process, uh, put the ballots into the uh, returning envelope and then put the envelope into a special pouch that is made available. This is similar to what used to happen in uh, army and police uh, stations previously. Uh, this is now happening in the overseas Can mission. the Wakio Chalun appoint a representative? Actually, uh, the, they, have something, they, they have something called a... Uh, they call it observer. There's no specific a name. Accredited observer. Yes. See, the, the, we, we have something called Kumar Hati, which are people, uh, NGOs who are accredited by the SPR to appoint uh, observers locally. And these same NGOs were given the authority to nominate uh, observers in the overseas mission offices. The political parties were also given the authority to nominate observers, but the, there is no differentiation between the two kinds of observers. So there is no, uh, effectively, there is no pacha post in the overseas mission offices. Only five per Mahati. Only five per mission office, and at any, any one time, only one person can be inside the mission office. Do you see a weakness there? There is a big weakness there in that uh, the handling of the postal ballots can be tampered with, but uh, there is nothing much we can do about it because the process is now uh, established. So all we can do is hope to revise the process for the next general election.